The Tar Heels are headed to the Final Four after a fourth straight dominant performance, this time taking out Notre Dame 88-74 in the East Regional Final, but they were actually down by a point with 13 minutes left to go in the game. Who was the hero? Wasn't any of the starters. It wasn't ACC Sixth Man of the Year Isaiah Hicks. It was Theo Pinson. You know, honestly, the leader of that was probably Theo. Um, that was whenever he came in, got the steal, got the offensive rebound, took it to the basket. Um, he made some really big plays for us during that time that, you know, kind of catapulted us um, into that run that we had to um, answer that what they had. So, you know, he was huge for us. I think everybody really stepped up when they needed to as well. Basically, we just let the game come to us. We didn't want to force anything. Um, Coach just, he preaches to us to just take, take the shot the team wants. And uh, I think pretty much all the shots that we took were shots with our team was very comfortable with. And of course, with them going in, it helped a lot. In fact, UNC's second half run started after All-American Bryce Johnson got a technical and Roy Williams benched him. I'm trying to do as much as I can to help my teammates win, man, but I almost messed it up for them by getting that technical. But hey, we, we still got to win. They really stepped up there for me and they really helped us out. So I mean, I really appreciate them for that. After Notre Dame took the lead, this is a remarkable stat. Carolina scored on 19 of its last 20 possessions. That is complete domination. Then the celebration began. Roy Williams' eighth Final Four, although he did commit a party foul. So today I was up there cutting a net and I started to take a step back and uh, felt like the ladder moved a little bit and I grabbed and when I grabbed, I grabbed the end of the scissors and it started bleeding. I've really got very good looking blood. It's very bright, very deep to colors. Well, he should be used to cutting nets. <laughs> it's something he's done several times in his career, but you know, um, a couple games ago he was bleeding as well and he, he came in the huddle and he was like, guys, I'll, I'll bleed for you guys if you keep playing the way you're playing. Uh, so I guess <laughs> he wanted to, wanted to do it again. It might be good luck. The way the Tar Heels were playing Sunday night is as good as any team in the country has played all season. In fact, after the Tar Heels took out the Irish, Mike Bray said they are the team to beat in Houston. I'm Jeff Fischel. This is the ACC Digital Network.